Welcome to the Poplar Assembly of God. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Well, I'd like to welcome you to the program here today. I'm going to be sharing an old-time song. It's an old-time favorite camp meeting song called Glory, Glory, Hallelujah. And it's uh, been one that we've heard for years and years. And it's always been a blessing to, to those that hear it. And uh, so I just want to share it to you. And it's time to begin singing Glory, Glory. There's something about when we sing about the glory, the glory comes down. And it's time to shout Hallelujah because of what the Lord has done for you. So just be blessed and encouraged by the song Glory, Glory, Hallelujah. <laughs> This next song was shot up in northern Canada in the province of Quebec in a place called Waswanapi. So this song is dedicated to all those up in that area. But the song is entitled Do Not Fear. And uh, personally, I had to definitely overcome some fear when I shot this, and you'll see why. But it was during, it was right by a waterfall and a lot of water. And uh, <clears throat> that, you know, people know that uh, I, I'm not afraid of water. I have a concern about water. So uh, I was pretty close to some of the water there, but uh, but uh, God allows us to overcome our fears when we're laboring for Him. So be blessed by this song, Do Not Fear. Surround the land when sickness comes your way. 
This next song, Joanne is going to lead us in. It's entitled Shout to the Lord. Uh, and it was uh, shown to us by a dear sister in the Lord, Susan Hernes. And uh, she has gone on to be with the Lord. And so we'd like to dedicate it to the family. Part of this song was shot over in Springfield, Missouri, and uh, uh, part of it was shot back right here in Poplar, Montana. Uh, but it features uh, my grandchildren, Kaysen Morgan and uh, Taylor Cummins. So uh, they've taken a part in this, so we want to dedicate this song to the young people. Hold on.
it's a long trip But don't lose grip, won't be long, hold on Welcome to the service this week. Uh, just a quick recap on last week's message. Exodus 12, 31 says, And he, Pharaoh, called for Moses and Aaron by night and said, Rise up, get you forth from among my people, both ye and the children of Israel, and go serve the Lord as ye have said. Remember the uh, principle in this passage is the command to rise up. And I believe God wants us to rise up Go forth and serve the Lord. So we want to continue in verse 32 in Exodus chapter 12. And it says this, Also take your flocks and your herds as ye have said, and be gone and bless me also. In this passage, he says also, and that's an important word also, because keep in mind that God is not done with you yet. There are many more things that he has in store for you. He wants to add on to your testimony. If he has answered a prayer in the past, he's going to answer another one. Your testimony is going to increase, increase, and get greater and greater in, the, in, in your life, because God is not finished. He's going to do more and more and more in your life. So he says, also take your flocks and your herds. So they, they were instructed to take those things that were with them, uh, those things that they were blessed with. Uh, also it means to take, also means uh, to receive. The word take means to receive. You can't take anything unless you receive it, unless it is given. So God has some things that he wants to give to you in your life. He wants to, uh, some blessings. He has some gifts and talents that he wants to give you and put within your life. But it's up to you and I to take them, to receive them. He wants to give you the baptism of the Holy Ghost. He wants to release it in your life. It's a gift, but you need to take it as he gives it receive. So purpose today that you will receive what God has for, for you. Just say to, say to yourself, say, say to those around you, say to one another, I receive it in Jesus name. So it says, as ye have said, uh, the word as, uh, as ye have said means uh, the, as you have requested and as you have asked, so Pharaoh gave them the request, as we shared before. Uh, God, uh, when we come into the authority of Jesus Christ, the enemy has to obey. The enemy has to obey what God's word says. And what we say to the enemy in Jesus' name, he has to do it. He has to obey him. Whatever he's taken from you in your life, he has to give it back in Jesus' name. Whatever it is, if it's your health, if it's your families, if it's your relationships, whatever it might be in your 
your life. Uh, uh, God uh, gives us that authority to command it to, to be returned in Jesus' name from the enemy. So he said, uh, so uh, he said, as, as ye have said, as you have requested, so whatever we say in the name of Jesus, how many know there's power in the name of Jesus? And, and the enemy has to obey when you invoke that name of Jesus Christ and there is power in his name. Whatever it is that you're battling, the enemy has to let go. And so it says, uh, and be gone. So uh, uh, in this in this situation, in this passage, when he says, go, go, uh, be gone uh, away from me. So as we look at this passage and he says, he says, be gone. It means to leave this place. Uh, he wanted them to get out of Egypt, wanted to get out. So the word God, be gone means to leave this place or out of Egypt. So whatever it is that you're in, whatever surrounding, whatever situation you are in your life, the word of God is telling us to leave it, to leave it behind. Whatever it is uh, that is facing you, maybe it's something in your past. It, uh, he's commanding us to let it be gone, G uh, depart from it, leave it there and go. So uh, uh, it says, uh, leave this place, leave, uh, leave Egypt, leave sin. If there is sin in your life, uh, uh, a lifestyle of sin, uh, God is commanding us to leave it, to be gone from it, to depart from it. Uh, whatever it is might be, uh, God is, is speaking to you today to rise up out of it and go and leave that place. It says uh, also, uh, so whatever it is that you're, that you're being held by, whatever it is that's holding you, let it be gone. Uh, be gone from that place and that, in that area of your life. Let it be gone out of your life. God is here to set you free. He's here to deliver you. Whatever it is that is binding you, that is holding you, it has to let go in Jesus' name. Now, in the last part, it says, and bless me also. Now, this is Pharaoh saying this. He said, be gone and bless me also, because he had just gone through a loss. He had just gone through a, a, a loss in his family. His, his uh, eldest son that was about, that would take, uh, that would be his successor that will pick up where he left off. He had just passed away. So in, in this state of mind, in this spirit, uh, uh, Pharaoh said, bless me also. I believe that God was dealing with his heart and he want, even wanted the blessings of their God upon his life. So you see, the, the friend, that today, no matter what it is that you're facing, maybe you're battling some things, God wants us to be a blessing to others. He wants uh, us to, to bless those that are around us. Maybe there are those that have, that have hurt you. Maybe there are those that have spoken uh, evil against you. Maybe there are things that have done to you. Uh, no matter what has happened around us, God wants us to be a blessing unto them. So uh, I, I want to encourage you here today to be a blessing to somebody in this life. During this time, the Word of God says that they shall see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. So bring glory to the Lord by blessing and being a blessing to someone else. If you've been uh, spoken uh, ill of, speak good. Overcome evil with good. So uh, what the devil has meant for evil, God will turn it around for the good. So in, in those times in your life, uh, God wants to use you. He wants to use you in, in a, a place where uh, the enemy has tried to attack you. But God can turn it around and uh, make it for good. So he wants you to be a blessing in that situation. In that time. You say, well, I don't feel like being a blessing. I don't feel like blessing. You know, uh, even at this time we're here where, where Pharaoh had done all these things to God's people, yet he asked for a blessing. And maybe there are those out there that, that need God to do something in your life. And you say, well, I'm not a Christian. I'm not a believer. I don't go to church. God still has a blessing for you. And I believe God wants to release it. And that's why we are here to be a blessing to you. So accept what God has for you. There is something that he has in store for you. So receive it today in Jesus name. So now in verse 33, it says, And the Egyptians were urgent upon the people that they might send them out of the land in haste. For they said, We be all dead men. So the Egyptians wanted to get rid of God's people. They wanted them out of the land. It said they sent them out. Uh, not only released them, but it said they sent them in haste. They, they told them to hurry, 
Hurry, get out of our land. You see, I believe that's what, that's what the enemy uh, is feeling right now when the word of God is being spread throughout the land today. When the, uh, when the enemy comes in contact with someone, that, uh, a believer of Jesus Christ, when they, uh, the enemy encounters someone filled with the Holy Ghost and with the power and the authority of Jesus Christ, that they don't want to have anything to do with us. That's why if someone has been oppressed or, uh, or, or possessed, in any way and a child of God comes with that authority they begin to be stirred up and they know that they have to go in the name of Jesus Christ because they recognize authority there's something about these spiritual wickedness in high places is that they respect and they know authority so when you come in the authority in the name of Jesus Christ and the power and the blood of the lamb they have to go they have to flee they have to get so the enemy doesn't want to have anything to do with us if we are walking in the power of the Holy Ghost it says, so they did it in fact. They said, hurry, quickly, uh, don't wait. You know, uh, here in, in uh, the day and age that we're living in, God wants to do a quick work in the land. There are so many things that are that are that are going on around us in our land today. So many things that are coming upon us. It's time for us as believers to rise up and to do something quickly, whatever it is. Maybe maybe you're battling something in your life, in your past life, and and you're, you you want to leave that old life behind. Get up and do it quickly. Don't wait. What are you waiting for? Just begin to serve God. Stand up in the middle of it all and begin to serve Him uh, like never before. Give Him your life. Give Him your heart. Give Him a chance in your life and see what He will do. But do it quickly because the enemy is going to attack you. He comes as He, he goes about like a roaring lion seeking whom He may devour. So He is looking for someone uh, that, that He can devour, that He can destroy. But, but if you're serving God, uh, He knows and He recognizes that blood that is upon your life. So serve Him. Don't don't wait anymore. Don't wait too late, but serve God today. So it says, uh, uh, it, it, it says, what are you waiting for? Get out. Get, get up out of you. Go. Leave from me. So if you're uh, in a, a, a lifestyle here that is not pleasing to God, leave that quickly. Don't wait anymore because the longer you wait, the longer you're going to be rooted in that lifestyle and the harder it is for you to come out of that lifestyle. Do it today. The Bible says that today is the day of salvation. So don't don't wait any longer. Just call out to him and reach out to him. So he says, uh, uh, get out of the land in, in haste. For they said, we be all dead men. They knew that, that uh, God was greater. Uh, they tried to uh, use all their magicians and their sorcerers and, uh, and during this whole process. But God always proved himself victorious. He always showed that he was greater. And I want to encourage you here today that God is a great God. He's a mighty God. Whatever it is that you're facing here today, God can set you free. You can be released from that lifestyle. Maybe there's depression that is going on in your, in your life and, you, and you're feeling like, I can't get out of this. And maybe you're thinking that there's no way out. There is hope in Jesus Christ. I want to encourage you today. If you're in that state and you think that you're bound, you're bound in chains like the children of Israel in Egypt. They were bound into slavery. They were bound with shackles and with chains. Maybe you feel like you're bound here today, but Jesus Christ can set you free. He can free you from that past life. He can free you from that addiction. He can free you from those uh, things that are happening in your life that have a grip on you. They have to let go in Jesus name. So uh, when he says uh, we be all dead men, you see the presence of God's people brings fear and death to the enemy. Isn't that the confidence that we have here today? That God's people will bring fear to the enemy. Don't ever think, uh, many of you are walking around and saying, oh, I, I've seen this, I've seen uh, some kind of uh, spiritual activity or demonic activity or, or things in your house and it causes you to be afraid. But we have power and authority over those things in Jesus' name. I believe there's somebody listening right now that, that you've been seeing some odd things, some, some uh, uh, scary things that have been happening, strange things that have been happening in your life, some demonic activity going on. But Jesus Christ, 
Christ came to give us that authority over those things. So there's power in his name. First, you need to close the door to whatever is allowing that demonic activity to come into your life. Whether it is things that you're watching, things that you're listening to, games that you're playing, uh, music that you're listening to, uh, uh, substances that you're allowing into your house, and uh, there's a doorway. That door needs to be closed, shut. And once that door is closed, no more activity, then you can call on the name of the Lord and he will set you free, set your household free, and you and your household shall be saved. And that's the power of God's word here today. So no matter what it is, uh, the, the enemy is afraid. He, he, he is trembling at the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says even that uh, demons know the truth. They know the word. They know all those things and they tremble. So they are afraid. They're shaking in their boots when a child of God comes in the power and the authority of Jesus Christ. So keep that in mind today. You don't have to be afraid. It's the enemy that needs to be afraid. So I want to encourage you here today. Stand on his word. Stand on his promises. Don't be afraid. Fear not. God says, for I am with you. And what has he given us? He's given us his word. He's given us that name of Jesus. And he's given us authority in that name. There is power in his name. So let us, uh, as, as a body of Christ, bring fear to the enemy. It says, then, uh, the presence of God's people will bring fear and death to the enemy. So whatever it is that's attacking you here today, let it die. Whatever it is, if it's a past uh, issue in your life, let it die uh, in Jesus' name. Put it in the past. If that old man is trying to rise up in your life, let that old man die and have that new life in Jesus Christ. Receive it here today. There's somebody there that, that needs to know that, that you can leave that past behind, that old man behind. Sometimes people will say, oh, I remember what you did. I remember your past. And you can look at them and say, yes, I remember my past too, but I also remember that day that I gave my heart and life to Jesus Christ, and he forgave me of all those things, and he set me free, and he can do the same for you. That's the witness that we have, that we can let others know. If they remind us of our past, we can remind them what God has done for us and what he can do for them also. Whatever the enemy tried to bring against you, God can turn it around for good, and someone can be saved, someone can be set free, just like like you are. So here today, I want to encourage you that as we walk in the Lord, we can walk in his power. We can walk in his anointing and we can and we can receive what the children of Israel received that day when they came out of Egypt. So, friend, if you're here today and the enemy has taken something from you, you can demand it back in Jesus name. Whatever it is in your life that he has robbed you and taken from you, you can receive it back and God can restore you once again and you can have a new life in Jesus Christ. It says whatever you have said. So uh, whatever you have requested, all you have to do is ask that in the name of Jesus Christ and he will do it for you. All you got to do is ask him to forgive you of your sins and he will forgive you. All you got to do is ask him in his name to set you free here today and he can set you free right where you're at. You're saying, I, 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 I'm new to this. I don't know how this all works. You might be sitting there watching on your phone with, with your earphones in or you might be in your office or your car. You can be set free right now and in a moment we're going to pray. So hang on because I believe that God is going to do something for you. It says also the Egyptians were urgent amongst the people that they would uh, be sent out. Uh, serve God with all that you're worth. Serve God and keep his word in your in your mind and in your heart. And, and the enemy will run from you. You don't have to run from the enemy, but the enemy will begin to run from you. Uh, so do it now. Don't wait too late. I believe that someone, maybe you've been thinking, well, I've been you know, thinking about changing my life. I've been thinking about uh, turning over a new leaf or uh, I wish I could start all over again. Jesus Christ gives you an opportunity to do just that. You can start all over again. You can turn your back on your past and you can turn your face towards him and receive a new life in him. Don't wait any more. Any, any more. Don't wait any longer. Uh, do it today because there is power in his name. Uh, don't wait. Some have been waiting too long. You've been waiting. You say, well, if the time is right, the Bible says today is the day of salvation. Let this be your day that you call upon him. And I believe that God's going to do something for you right where you're at. He said, uh, for they said, we be all dead men. Don't let the enemy destroy you.
The path that you're going down right now, the enemy wants to destroy you. The enemy wants to take you down. But by the, by the power of God in your life, uh, the, en the enemy will have to run from you. And you can bring death to those things that have been trying to destroy you in that old way of life. So we're going to pray today. I believe that God is going to do something for you. Dear Father in heaven right now, we thank you. We praise you for those that are watching wherever they are right now, Father. Lord, let them sense your power and your greatness and your might. Let them know that you are right there, right by their side. Father, Lord, they may be driving. They may be walking. They may, may be in their office. They may be in their living rooms, in their homes. Let them know that you are right there by their, their side. Let your presence fill that place. Let the atmosphere of that home begin to change with the power of your Holy Ghost and with your power. And Father, Lord, as they cry out to you, as they call out your name, that they shall receive. Those that are battling those issues in their life, Father, we declare victory over them. We declare victory over those uh, things that have been binding them for so long. Father, Lord, we declare that today there was a new day for them. We declare your power and your greatness to set them free. If they've been bound by an addiction, by a habit right now or a lifestyle, whatever it might be, a, a depression, suicide, set them free right now in Jesus' name. For you are greater than all those things. When we thank you, Father, right now because you're a God that gives life. You're the life giver here today. We thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. And we declare these things to all those that are here, that are watching and that are listening. We declare it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I believe that God has done something for you here today. I can feel it right now that there are those that are, that there's something happening. Some, some of you are feeling something you've never felt before. Maybe you're, you're crying, beginning to cry. And we, that's the presence of the Holy Ghost. That's the presence of God in your life. And just let him live within you. Let him give you that hope because there is hope today in Jesus Christ. Let us know what has happened. Message us, leave a comment of what God has done in your life today. God bless you. Thank you for joining us, Papa Assembly of God.